Hi, Super Roos here, back with our Into Our Dimensions New Game Plus Us Plus video, episode 150. Yes, we have made it all the way to 150 episodes. That is insane. And, and because of that, it's going to be a special, it's going to be double length episode. I'm starting out, I can already see E102 time theorems, so that's going to allow me to like, Get some more stuff in my build. Not quite this one, but whatever. It's still pretty OP. I've grinded a lot of neutrinos, grinded a bunch of taus, and then some electrons as well. What this is gonna do? It's gonna allow me to get not only a ghostly particle multiplier, but also these. So this is green power boosts odd emperor dimensions and prion charge production, and this is three thousand over three thousand. Um, 3,180. That's going to make... I already have a ridiculous amount of prions. Like, if I go over to Emperor Dimensions, like, this is my normal replicants amount. I'm not even sure if I've had E65. I can even get this. I didn't even get this. Um, I'm not even sure if I had E65 prions ever before. And I'm still grinding nutrients. Actually, before I do that, yeah, this is going to be insane. Look at this, E4.75 quadrillion. That is a huge increase. Probably if I, probably if I dilate, it's going to be a huge increase in tachyon particles. E193, not only... So there, there's that. This is actually even more now, somehow. Yeah, because I'm gaining more quarks. So what is this going to do? This is going to make it so... Now if I go to Emperor Dimensions... It is now going up at a decent rate. If I actually go here, I have E71 prions, and it's going up at a decent rate as well. I mean, not as fast as before, but it's not like it's not moving. Like it usually, it's usually just like not even moving. But now it's, it's really also almost E19 million replicanti. Not only that, there is this upgrade, which essentially Buff the quark from formula for for high amounts of quarks. So yeah, that's 200 orders of magnitude of quarks right there, allowing me to get 10, 11,000 on this, making replicants and emperor dimensions even faster than they were before. And if I quantum, that's going to translate to gluons, and that's what it's also going to do. Not only that, oh yeah, that's automated. Um, is that is going to Cause the, um, I can get more neutrinos out of, um, I, I, where, 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 where do I go? I, I go, no, I, I go gluons? No, I don't go there. I go replicants. No, emperor dimensions. That's what I do. So the tab I was literally just on. So get all of this. That, that allows me to get only a few more, but whatever. It, it, it counts. And I, Again, there's, there's another triple the amount of tachyon particles gained upgrade. And so you can, it's, already, it's already OP. Unfortunately, I lose all my prions, but I'm still at E70 prions, which is far higher than I ever was before. And I still keep the replicants. So th there's that. Not, not only that, this upgrade, it, it also boosts my prion charge production, which means that nanofield is going to be a lot faster. But before I do that... Um, we're going to go into Tree of Decay. So we have E36 Cork Spin. We can get the 10th level of the Tachyon Particle Formula Exponent. We can get several levels of this. We can get... I, I can't really read some of these. This is okay, E35. I can get a few of these, E33. This one just doesn't seem to even scale. This one's really good for a big rip. This one is going to help me get even more replicants. And I get this, and then probably I should just get the first upgrade out of every branch, not the others. And then just get everything here. Get as many as I can. Which is going to allow me to get even more antimatter. I'm almost at E5 quadrillion at this point. And I, I can get a lot of... I can get a lot here. Um, unfortunately, I, I can't get enough for this, but that, uh, that's... That, that'll come on a later episode. So, because of all those tachyon particle upgrades, yeah, there's there's another 
few orders of magnitude of tachyon particles. As if that wasn't enough. I have E10,000 ant meta antimatter, which I think is enough to get an electron upgrade if I'm... Yeah, there's, there's, there's an electron upgrade right there. Allow me to get even more things. I have almost 2.8 million electrons. And... Um, and I think if I just do a little bit of neutrino grinding, I'm not going to do that much right now, but it's I'm getting one neutrinos, which is the one that really, really um, helps at this point. So, I mean, it's, there's not, I mean, it's not that fast at all, but whatever. It's you can just see it go up. It's not really that important. Um, what I want to do, however, is I want to go onto nano field. So I'm gonna go into my nano field build. I think this is just my tree to K build, and once I get in my nano field build, that will that will help me. It's just gonna be it's gonna be OP because I only have 16 nano field records right now. So doing this, this is gonna yeah, look. I instantly go to 18. Instantly. Not only that, I, I can get 19 real quick after that, which means. Like, and I'm getting a lot of prion charge as well. I'm losing E51 prions per second. That is something to consider. I mean, like, if I didn't have E71, if I was just at, like, E56. But it looks like 20 pre prion, no, 20 nanofield rewards is within reach. A relatively easy reach. Which is, like, 20 nanofield rewards would be unheard of before, but now it's actually not bad to get. So you, you can just see how overpowered it is, and I haven't even gone to Big Rip. I think once I go into Big Rip, it's going to be even more OP. But I just want to get this this 20th Nanofield reward, because, yeah, I, I've never gotten it, and it's and this, this, this one's a really nice one. It's dilated time boost to meta dimensions, and increase to... Um, increased even higher. So this means it's going to give me a good multiplier on my meta dimensions. Like if if it wasn't already OP enough, I don't think I can get any achievements at this point. Um, like this is E thirty three space shards without breaking eternity. Reach a Google Eternal Matter. This actually as a reward. Getting more corks. Um, it's so it's a this is 21st nano field reward, 21st. <laughs> I I can get 20, but not 21. That's going to be impossible. I'm not getting having tree upgrades, E36 million replicants. And then there's this one. Um, I mean, this this one, when you became a ghost, you gain two galaxies worth of all new generate, two galaxies worth. That could be useful eventually, but I don't think I don't think it's possible until much later. I, I've, I've heard. So... Yeah, you can see you can see how overpowered this is, and once I actually get the twentieth reward, then I'm gonna actually really start going, start trying to get E five quadrillion antimatter. I wonder how much this is. This is thirty eight times, and the the mastery studies that caused it, you know, field rewards or nano field. Yeah, this is um, one point five million. This is. Um, Two or two hundred seventy-six million, and then another fifty-seven hundred. So this is how it's possible to get twenty nanofill rewards. Twenty-one is still way out of reach because of the ridiculous cost scale, R the ridiculous scaling of this. But I think just like one quantum, I'm just gonna I'll, I'll stop the production of prion charge and I'll I'll do one quantum here. I think this is gonna really, it's gonna be OP because then because now everything's sort of um, reset, like, because quantum resets things, and, and, so I still have my 20 rewards, but, like, now I can, I can do, like, the, the retroactivity, like, like, it's, it's, like, it's, they're retroactive, so, unfortunately, it's a little slow, just, like, that, to push, so, to, like, push a little farther here, so what I do is I just, I hold enter on the max all, and there it is, E5 quadrillion, I didn't even notice, that is absolutely insane. That that is fit for the 150th episode. 
But not only that, we are going to try to big rip the universe at this point. And I have no idea how fast it's going to be. I'm probably going to get a crazy amount of eternal matter just because of everything. And then we can ghostify. We can maybe even get a new neutrino boost. We just need two ghostly particles, essentially. Or we could try to go for this, which is five times as many neutrinos. But I already have a good amount of neutrinos. So, I mean, it depends on how much the next upgrade costs. If it costs, like, if it's just out of my range, so like 30 billion... Well, I don't need it for 30 billion. If it's like 40 billion or 50 billion, I would would probably get this. But that'll be next Ghostify. I, I'm not going to do this yet. Actually, no, 30. I'm already going to get this. So that's going to cost most of my neutrinos. But yeah, let's, let's big rip the universe at this point and go into a big rip build. Um, because that, that really does help. Going into the... Um, I, I feel like I can go into a better, even better build than this. I mean, at this point, this can be part of my big red build, even though it doesn't do anything. Okay, I don't, I don't, it doesn't do anything, so it's 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 useless. But I can already basically reach the Ghostify requirement at this point already. And okay, Paternity is broken, but um, I think when, yeah, E6000 Paternity points. It's at, oh, I'm like it's actually a little slower than I thought, but then I noticed all those potential um. Tachyon particles there that I was missing. Yeah, now now look at this. E6300 eternity points. This is going to allow me to get a lot. Oh, yeah, I got to stop doing this. I'm gaining 1% of this every second. I don't need to. I mean, I guess for quick runs I can do it, but it's not like mandatory like it was before. And I'm now already up to the point where I can get three ghostly particles. Which is, yeah, it's, it's OP. To be able to get the three ghostly particles already, that's gonna allow me to get six once I get this, and I, I hopefully will remember. Hopefully, I, I don't. Not me that one guy that just doesn't remember. There's e6500 attorney points. Now the attorney points is about the same as like the world record for people in the main game who have just pushed their attorney points ridiculously far. Because it goes to like E4000 and E6500 would be, yeah, insane. I mean, I'm at E6100 in the vanilla game, so I mean, it's not like it's possible or anything, but it's just, it, it's, yeah, it, it requires year grinding, which is even worse than the photons wall that is coming. I mean, we're still a few episodes away from the photons wall, but it's eventually coming. So we're almost even to the we're almost to the four ghostly particle point. I'm actually going to do this now. It's going to cost a bunch of my neutrinos, but it's going to it's going to be possible. Now now I'm up to seven ghost particles because they're doubled. So yeah, you can see I could maybe even try to go for eight, and maybe I can just go for the. I'm probably just going to go for the neutrino boost, and then go for another. Um, I'm going to be getting. 10, so I'll be going for another um, 4, actually, after this. That's it. That's literally it. Just 4. So, yeah, E6600 attorney points. I think that's a good good place to stop. 8 ghost particles. I think that is a good place to ghostify here. So, this should allow me to... Yeah, I, I unlocked another neutrino upgrade. And this is just 10 billion neutrinos. So, this is... Eternities and space shards boost each other, so that means I better get some eternities um, going. But I'm gonna get this. This is gonna unlock a fourth boost. Let's see what it is. They make the infinite time reward stronger by 28%. That reward is already OP, so buffing it is gonna be, yeah, it's understandably gonna be ridiculously OP. And I'm in my big rip builds, I, yeah, I keep forgetting to. To go back into my usual, my usual build, and now, now I have to deal with this again. I, I wonder how many automator ghosts I got. I, I'm up to five automator power, which is my milestone. Auto food, auto worker. Re oh, it helps automate the replicants. I think that's actually pretty good. That's gonna. I'll be four and a half if I do it like that. I guess I could just like, I can't get five and a half at this point. But doing this would really help early on. 
the early quantum. I'm just going to max all and max all and just max all. I'm glad these max buttons exist. And yeah, hopefully, hopefully now, um, I already have E160 trillion tick speed. I've barely done anything. Oh, yeah, I, I keep all my tachyon particle. I, 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 I'm already back up to E5 quadrillion. Already. Almost. This is insane. And why is it not... Do I still have to manually buy these limit upgrades? It looks like it. Maybe next... Maybe once I get the 6th automator... The 10th automator ghost. That will... That will help boost my speed even more. So, th so there's this. Okay, it's going to cost a bit of my neutrinos, but it's, I mean, it's only really going to affect me during Big Rip. But I think I's, I'm going to try to go for these ghost, ghost particles at this point. There's not even really much point in trying to get all of the, all of this. Like, even like, even like the tree of, of the gay stuff. It, it's not all that much point. I mean, like, it helps with Big Rip, but... I mean, really, it's it's not the most powerful thing ever. I'm just gonna go back into big rip, and yeah, I'm still okay. okay. Now it's a little bit more subdued with tree of decay. Okay, even though yeah, there's there's all this, and then break eternity, get this, and get get this, and once I start getting the space shards, um. Yeah, normal eternity runs, so I can max this out. And now I think this is a good point to try to, to get this upgrade. Because, so I will, I do know that banked eternities do not work in in quantum challenges. That, that is, and, if, and since Big Rip is technically a quantum challenge, that means it will not affect, um, but I feel like I'm, it's already a lot more OP. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to do zero seconds um, between eternities. I'm just going to see if this is going to help me get any... Uh, is it banked eternities or just eternities? I'm, I'm not... Because I don't think banked eternities do anything. But apparently this is supposed to boost my space shards. So that's what I'm, I'm doing. Maybe I can go out of big rip just to see. I'm not exactly sure. Um what the best strategy for this would be, but it seems it's pretty good. I mean, at least, at least the strategy I'm using seems pretty good. I mean, maybe if I just, I just if I just eternity a few times, um, that gets me a bunch of banked eternities on this quantum. So I'll, I guess I'll quantum, I'm holding the Q key, but it's, there's so much happening. Oh, there we go. And then we big rip. Maybe that helps speed up the big rip. Maybe. I, I I don't think I don't think it's speeding it up all that much. However, so I'm just I'm just gonna. I mean, it's this is a, a time to experiment because it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot more important by the time I'm in the photons wall. And so yeah, I may just try to go for. So what would I have? How many ghost particles? I have four ghost particles. I'm gonna want um, this to gain five times more neutrinos. So yeah, that that's. I mean, this does go up, but it's better just to get this to speed things up further. And now, four ghost particles, forty-six ghost particles per hour, which is higher than anything else so far. Get this. This is seven trillion. Of any neutrinos, so that that's okay. So that that means that I'm not going to be there in a while, and that is bank attorneys count in big rips, which I that's what I was sort of wondering. So they don't count in big rips. So got gotta gotta use that piece of information. So it doesn't look like I'm gonna, there's much point in just trying to ghostify as much as I can. Um, but I will. I am gaining a lot more neutrinos, which is. I'm, I'm just going to quantum at this point and just get the. Get everything going. And of course, I, I need to, to get. At this point, actually, when I'm active, it's better. Um, to. 
um, I'm, try, I'm trying to think how I, should, how I should set up my automator ghosts. I should, I don't really need to do this. I can just hold you down. Instead, I can do this. And I don't have enough power to automate, so I will sacrifice this. And that'll, that'll mean I still have to do this, and I still have to hold you. But that's, that's still, that's all what it, that's all I have to do. That's it. So that's not, not much. Oh, you, well, I still have to do, it's so annoying that I still have to do this. Still have to increase the limit. Maybe I, maybe I shouldn't be doing it like this. Maybe this isn't the best, but whatever. It still gaining a ton of quarks this way. So that's what I am. I'm doing. Yeah, the broken auto eternity thing. It never works. So what I'm gonna. So what I'm gonna do once I get it back onto Milan neutrinos, I'm going to start neutrino grinding and see where I end up. So th yeah, that's what I'm. It's gonna. I'm gonna try to do. Let's see where tree decay is. It's now up to the octillions, almost nonillions. So it's pretty OP. And I think it's just it's it's good to try to set up a nano field run every now and then. Like even if it if I'm if I'm not going to 20, if I just get 19, that will really really help. And I don't think I even using using a big rip build last time. I don't think I was using a big rip build, and I still got four ghost particles out of it. That is, that is actually demonstrating how overpowered this is. Sort of like maybe. Okay, I'm losing all my pre. Okay, yeah, that that's that isn't exactly the most efficient um, way to get nano field rewards, but we can still get um, the. Where is it? <laughs> there, there's so there's so much there's so much um, everywhere. I'm not not nano field. I'm. And no, neutrinos, New, because I'm going getting Moan neutrinos. So if I get neutrino grinding, this is gonna relatively fast. I mean, it's still gonna be slow. It's always gonna be slow. Seven trillion is no joke. That is gonna take a long time for me to get. I mean, I know photons is like e one hundred and. 16 or maybe even a little higher than that and I know there's eventually a wall to get e55 neutrinos so just get so yeah this is gonna feel like a joke the, the grinding to seven trillion I mean yes there will be these neutrino multipliers and that's I think really what's gonna be controlling your progression Anyway, we're up to half a billion neutrinos at this point. So there's not, I, I don't really see much need in, in just doing in doing this. So, so yeah, we're up. We're even higher in antimatter than we were before. And if I go into, I I, I think I'm just gonna quantum here because now I can get this and this. So it's gonna. It's gonna speed things up further. I should be holding you down the whole time. I okay. They're still lasting like um, fifteen minutes, and that's still a decently long amount of time. It's not not short by any means, but it's. It feels like this is what ghost eyes are gonna be. They're either gonna be like quick ghost eyes, but I think more likely they're gonna be gonna be for trying to push. So now here, I don't think I'm gonna have a lot of. A lot of prions at this point, but I e53. So that, I mean, that does get me to um, it does get me to 18 pretty quickly, but 19 is still going to be trouble at this point, un 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 unfortunately. So I mean, it looks like it is a quick push to 18. 19 is definitely going to be possible. 20 requires, I would say, a day of, of grinding prions. Uh, that that's that that's what I'm getting from this. And maybe what I should do now is big rip. So big rip. Um, go here, change to my big rip build, and then try to just get as much. Um, of course, eternal matter. Get get all this. It's pretty OP, and then do a few um, 
do a little bit of eternity grinding. I'm, I don't, I'm not sure exactly how much I'm going to want here, but it seems like it's pretty powerful to, to get, to do a little bit of eternity grinding. Just like a little bit. And then getting this, and then the attack, and then the dilated time. Remember, there is that upgrade that boosts um, the amount of attorneys you're going to get based on the dilated time. So, so that that's why, and also it boosts. Yeah, it's, it's actually they boost each other. So that's going. That's it's real. It that does. I am I am up to e almost e forty two space shards, which is a, a record. And yeah, this is op. I mean, this is the inflation era. I feel like I'm I'm in the beginning of the inflation era. I'm talking about. I'm because this is now seven ghost particles, one point oh four per minute. And that is like sixty five per hour. So it's like if we keep doing this for an hour, we'll get like sixty five, seventy even, and that makes these upgrades like they feel like there's so much. Like oh my god, fifteen, thirty two. I mean at seventy per hour, that's not really. All that much. We have E77 Eternal Matter, E7000 Attorney Points, E43 Space Shards. Yeah, this is... An on, it's only now that we're really starting to stall out. And I have, I have zero Ghost Particles at this point, so... is I can't do much with, with that. But it, it, it looks like... Yeah, it looks like it's not... It's going to be pretty... Um, it's gonna be pretty easy to, to get so we, we get nine at this point um doesn't look like we can get much more than nine um we can get 10 here so I think 10 is a good good amount because this means uh, okay uh, another neutrino upgrade that's gonna um, one quintillion eighth big rip upgrade is never repealed and capped I don't even know what that one is it's it's um Eighth one, it's um. What do you mean? It's never repeal. It's not repeal. Um, and each replicated galaxy increases your turning point gain by two times. I not so that doesn't make much sense. But now I'm going to try a different strategy. This strategy is to um just so I'm going to hold the U key down. Um. And I'm just the strategy is just like go with um, just like big rip pretty quickly after. I mean once we get more more stuff, actually I can just go into replicants. I don't have to go into emperor dimensions, which actually is useful. And of course, change my build. I'm like, why am I not going very far? I I do this. That's, that's I always have to do that. Never forget to do that. And then once this starts going up, I can start. I'm literally getting gluons, like without even just just because it's it's based on the square root of my of my quarks. I mean, maybe maybe I should do the tree of decay stuff manually instead of this stuff, but whatever. It's it it's okay. And I'm just gonna do like one quantum at a good amount of quarks, like. E1500 quarks or maybe not even that much and then just like and then just go for the big rip that that's it I'm not gonna do I'm not gonna do much preparation here like not a lot of prions you yeah, just get the, get a quantum here go into big rip um, and do before I do the eternities just get just get up to the cap up with eternal matter. And then go for the five ghostly particles. I'm only going for five. So yeah, here that was a little inflation error. Now we can get this. Oh, get that. Um, and then this would be a good point to do some eternity grinding. Just just a, just a few seconds of it. Nothing crazy. And I I don't, I don't know where we are in tree decay. Okay, octillions. I just wanted to see. So, so yeah, there's there's a bunch of upgrades there. Three ghostly particles, just three. I was hoping for a little more. Um, I'm surprised that I'm actually not getting. I mean, it maybe does make a big difference how much preparation there is. Perhaps. 
I mean, I am getting more prions now. And I'm getting more eternities. But maybe it does really make a difference. I mean, I feel like I'm getting a lot less tachyon particles than I was before. Or maybe it's just because I didn't have as much eternal matter upgrades. I don't know. It felt like I had a lot more tachyon particles previously, and, and now and now I don't. I don't know why, but that I feel like that is reasonable. So it looks like it's better to try to push as far as you can with like nano field and tree of decay. I mean, not as far as you can, but like do a decent amount because I'm struggling to get even four um, ghostly like particles here. So I mean, there's four. I'm gonna need, but I still need a little bit more than that. So I I do feel like I still I still need to. It's like it's just not. This is definitely not optimal. It's interesting how this is not optimal at all. So, I'm going to try to get this, but there's really not much I can do at this point. I mean, I could try to just wait it out for whatever it is, like E196 like million or something, or 197 million. I mean, it doesn't. I mean, it's going up pretty quickly, so it's it's not. It's not like it's going to be impossible by any means. Probably because of the replicanti. Um, anything here? Not much. I mean, I, I guess it's just it's just useful to try to get some eternal matter, so I can get a few more orders of magnitude of eternity points, which will lead to more antimatter. So yeah, there's there's another upgrade. Maybe we we have enough here it's not quite enough unfortunately i mean I'm, I'm not exactly sure what you what i need it's some it must be I, I must be close to whatever it is because it just it just feels like the scaling should go that way so i'm just i'm just waiting for this to say five ghost like particles so i can get another neutrino boost so that that's literally that, that's just what it that's what it is I'm just wait. I'm just waiting, and waiting, and waiting, and just getting a few tachyon particles along the way, while I'm waiting. Because I'm still because it's mostly just the replicanti. Uh, um, that's really and there. It is five ghostly particles, five ghost particles. So now I have fifteen ghostly particles. There's another neutrino upgrade that I'm. This is E55. Wow, that's a jump. That is the one that is going to give me a boost in like 10 episodes from now. So, in Big Rips, each galaxy type boosts differently. Um, I have no idea. Hover to see your current effects. I mean, this is not going to actually do anything. But this... Is this like going to do... Uh, yeah, Big Rips galaxies are sort of useful. Except normal galaxies are useful. Um, to, to any challenge 14 reward. What even is, what even is that? It's just been so long. Um, increase Infinity Challenge 3 reward. And then this is Infinity Challenge 3 reward. But anyway, we're going to get this. This is going to actually be useful. They reduced the nerf to red power boost over 130% by 83%. So I get, I does that mean, I guess, red power was nerfed before? Like, at a certain point, and now it's not nerfed? That That's what I'm getting from this. I'm just gonna hold I'm gonna hold you down. Just get all of these. To try to go as fast as possible. Get get all of, all of this to try to get a lot of prions and replicants. And then quantum so I can I can get even more quarks. And then just like do just while while I'm waiting for the for this to catch up, just get this. And I wonder if this is the last neutrino upgrade. I, I, I feel like it is because of the big jump. And also it's like reached the bottom of the screen, so I feel like it shouldn't reach any more. I mean I think I'm gonna get more of these these more more of these boosts. The next one is fifty. And now I'm up to almost E five point five quadrillion antimatter. This is like you can see just how insane 
it's like this whole thing is. I'm now E seventeen seventeen quarks. Yeah, that, that's it's pretty OP. I like how we can just go into replicants instead of going to Emperor Dimensions because I can actually see my prions in this, and it, I'm still in the quantum tab. These are just the sub tabs. I wonder if there's any like electron upgrades I'm missing. I mean, this is E103 time theorems, and time theorems are almost useless at this point. Um, so, th this download time one is really far away. I'm not sure about the meta dim dimension boost one. I mean, I can check my meta dimensions. Um, I'm actually pretty close. Um, this is, I feel like this is, yeah, this is the best ever meta antimatter. I, I feel like, yeah, this is 158.5%. I, I feel like that. Shouldn't provide that much of a boost, but whatever, it does, and I'm not going to complain about it providing that much of a boost. And, um, no, not ghostly photons, that's, yeah, that's, we're up to non-nillions of um, cork spin, which I think does really help, and E51 prions, it's like, I think pushing nanofield, like trying to get a good amount of nanofield rewards is useful in trying in getting the ghostly particles. Like just even just like getting 18 nanofield awards. I I feel like I mean it depends on which nanofield award you're getting. This is this one's actually useless for a big rip. Um this one I think is also useless. This one is like mildly useful for big rip. It's just real it's really a lot of these are pretty useless for big rip, unfortunately. But it's, re it's really not all that bad. Mm -hmm. You have 5.26 automator power, so I guess that that's pretty useful. To, um, to, yeah, we now, we now have E58 prions, which means it's, I'm a lot more comfortable with like doing this. I am losing. I would lose E53 per second, but I feel like that would put me. In, it's I'm I'm in a much I'm in a much better spot for nano field. At this point, and you can get even more of these. The neutrinos. I mean, it's it's fine. I'm just, I'll be, of course, like off camera. I'll be neutrino grinding. Um, I, I think I'm either gonna be neutrino grinding or like grinding as much antimatter as possible in Big Rip. That's that's, that's what I'm probably gonna be doing. It's gonna be one of the two. And while I'm neutrino grinding outside of Big Rip, and actually. I will also be getting a lot of prions and a lot of quark spin at the same time. So it's I like how you can you just have all of these resource just all of these mechanics that are still um, being boosted even as you're doing one thing. Like that's why neutrino grinding is not quite as frustrating as like eternity grinding in, in like or infinity grinding like in the like before like in the vanilla game, because while you're doing that, you basically couldn't do anything else. But while you're neutrino grinding, you're also getting cork spin and, and prions. And that does make a difference. So, I don't, and I'm, I'm up to E59 prions. So, it's going to be about E60 for the nanofield build, which is it's, it's pretty good. It'll hopefully get me 19. I'm not sure exactly how much it's going to do. But it should get me a decent amount, so I'm I'm just gonna, yeah, 17, 18. I don't think I mean 19 is definitely possible, um, but it it would it would take a little bit, a few minutes. Yeah, it's not 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 even that hard actually. It would just take a few minutes to get, and a few minutes is not bad at all. So I mean I I guess I could do that, but. It's sort of useless, so yeah, I'm, I'm going to stop doing it. And I'm still actually gaining prion energy per second because I'm getting more prions. And because of the mastery studies, that means I can still get all all this. So we can see, and that does actually allow me to get even more quarks and all that. I mean, I don't have to hold you down the entire time, which is nice. Maybe I, I could even try to go for this formula upgrade here. Which would, I mean, I wonder if what happens if I dilate. Um, nothing. Great. Okay, that, that was useless. I, I I thought I'd be I thought I'd be better than that. 
I mean, I, I wasn't expecting it to be like the greatest thing ever, but I wasn't ex I was expecting it to be more than nothing. Like, like I thought I was gonna maybe get into the 196th order of magnitude. But whatever, whatever. We're, I mean, if he, I'm tempted to just wait for this because I'm essentially already halfway there because of because this the rate uh, this is this is increasing. So. I mean, it's only one E seven nine six. Like that's another reason. I mean, maybe if I get, oh yeah, I need ten levels of this. That's why. That that, that that's why I didn't get anything. Because I already had ten levels. It, it is it's useful to keep track of. And I think some of these, like this one, is two point seven five E thirty three, which is I think the next thing that's gonna pop up with with red. So that will really help. That does help Big Rip. So, I mean, it's very interesting. Just all these mechanics that are 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 now being pushed to greater heights because of all like the brave milestones have have got rid of just like the like it's now just more about trying to get them as high as you can than just getting them to a certain point, um, just to the level where you can unlock the next one. Like now, it's just gonna be trying to get ever bigger numbers, and that's what the point of incremental games. Are. So, yeah, we're gonna get this 19th nano field reward, which is gonna lead. I'll probably I'll just do like one more quantum after this. I mean, I'm not even sure if I want to quantum. Um, I mean, I feel like I want to get this going, and that's just a few seconds away. So that'll help big rip. And actually, now I have better dilated time. I mean, it's possible to get something. Yeah, look at that. It's uh, actually more than I was expecting. It's probably because I just have so much more antimatter than before. And also, maybe just nanofill award. Um, since I'm now getting 20,000 galaxies from this. It's possible even to get this upgrade. I'm not sure how easy it's going to be. This is E850. So that, that I'm nowhere near that. But it is It's pretty insane. But I, I think I'm just going... I mean, I... I sort of want to push for this because it, it's preserved on my quantum. The, see, this is the thing. You just keep wanting to push for the next, for the next little milestone. It's it's not even like these, this isn't even a big milestone by any means. It's literally just triple the amount of tachyon particles. That's it. Yet I'm still trying to push for this. Like it's a serious goal. And I'm like waiting for it. It's crazy. Also here is E300 trillion tick speed. Just notice that. While I'm al I'm almost E6 quadrillion antimatter. E E9 quadrillion antimatter is a pretty um it's like a milestone number, not like for anything in the game, but it's it's almost like the E308 thing. The original library number library that, that actually there is that upgrade. So I'm going to dilate time and so the E9 E15 or E9 quadrillion, um, the original library, that number library that went above E308, had a limit of E9, E15. Now this game uses a different library that goes to E308, -E so yeah, there's that. So I'm, I'm just gonna respect and quantum, and then big rip, um, just start a big rip, and then go into, where, where is it, big rip build. And then just start getting eternal matter, of course, and yeah, this is gonna be super fast because of all the preparation I did. Like, yeah, look at this E E sixty four hundred and a massive amount of tachyon particles um, in Big Rip. This doesn't, this doesn't do anything, but I guess I can get them anyway. I mean, it maybe does something. I'm up to E seventy six eternal matter. E seven thousand eternal points. Yes, this is, this does seem to pay off. In the long run, and then getting just a little bit of eternities going, only up to like 100 octillion is a good amount. That'll help me get more space shards. And I don't think it resets my replicanti. And we can get E79 eternal matter. Like, we're, we're close to E80. We can, and remember, E100 is the achievement. I think, did that one have a reward? I, I just checked. No, this, this one does not. No, wait, no, that's the wrong one. Gain more quartz based on the amount of mana when you're going quantum. Um, when you had when going quantum, 
Not to mention the affected by deletion. Hmm. So I guess it's mostly just quality of life. I'm guessing that that's what it seems like. It doesn't seem like a big change. Well, I didn't even notice this. E7300 eternity points. Yeah, this is OP. What am I actually going to do here? I'm thinking... Yeah, we're up to E80 eternal matter, which is... just It just feels crazy to see E80 eternal matter. That's more eternal matter than atoms in the universe. <laughs> But anyway, we're going to go this and yeah, get 14 ghost particles, which is pretty OP. And what I'm going to do at this time is I'm just going to um, push overnight. I'm going to try to grind some neutrinos. And um, I mean, 7 trillion is going to be like that's we're not going to get there anytime soon. Maybe we can get this. No, that, that, that's still too expensive. But whatever, we can still get these boosts a little bit stronger. That is always a good thing. So, yeah, I've been rambling on and on for I have no idea how long, but it's been a while. So I'm just going to set up um, the Automator Ghosts at this point. There's the Auto Food and the Auto Worker Replicant. I feel like this isn't doing much. Um, I'm going to try to go for the cheap option of doing this. It's only two Automator Power. And then I can get four... Um, this isn't, this isn't, I can get this, this is four and a half. I guess this is going to be what I do. I, I guess I can do auto food, ghost, um, just so I can, so it can, it can be a little bit better. So, I mean, maybe I should quantum, but yeah, I'm, I'm not even going to. So, I mean, this means I have to, um, I still, I think I have to still get all the tree upgrades. Um, but that, that shouldn't be. Terrible. Like the tree upgrade, I mean, th this upgrade is important, but a lot of them aren't even all that important for tree of decay. So, yeah. Well, yeah, you, you've heard me rambling on for I'm not even sure how long. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed the special episode 150. I'm sorry it couldn't have been a live stream. The photons wall is because of this. Like, once I reach photons, that's going to be a live stream. And then um, I've heard that's a short mechanic, and then the mechanic after that. I'm gonna do another live stream for so that, that could be like two live streams five five episodes apart so yeah stay tuned for that i have no idea when that is but hopefully in like 15 or so episodes or three months of real time because of the photons will so whatever this, this starts this starts the journey the epic journey to to beat the photons wall from um, from just like Completing the brave milestones. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.